Hello, this is Tony Riggs with GoEngineer. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of our sheet metal tools like the fold and unfold command and how they can help us out with some cuts that we want to add to this sheet metal part. The first thing we're going to do is come over on the front plane and start our sketch for our base flange. We're going to always make sure that we can use the origin if we can. Come in and draw you know, a fairly complicated little uh, base flange sketch here. Come up and back over. And on this one, we're going to go just straight out to the left. We're going to come in and throw some dimensions on here. Maybe 2.5, 1 inch there, 6 inches, height of 3. Let's go 1 inch there half inch and really now all we need is this one more dimension and we've got a nice fully defined sketch sheet metal toolbar come over and use the base flange command and this is going to work very similar to the regular extrude tools we can actually come in and snap it to the ruler if we want to or type in a, a, a length come over and we've got a sixteenth of an inch thickness and an eighth inch bend radius. But what we really want to look at is how this is being created. Notice that the flange is up above the sketch line. You know, we can reverse the direction. We just got to pay attention to which way this is going and how we dimension things. Over here on the right side is going to be a little bit easier because the one inch is outside to outside. But three inches is to that bottom face. So make sure to pay attention to that. Go ahead and create the base flange. Now we've got a you know fairly simple little sheet metal part. If we come over to the sheet metal toolbar now, we're going to maybe use the fold and unfold commands. A lot of times people like to work on these parts in the flat, and we'll see a couple of reasons for that here in a little bit. When we come in and use the unfold tool, a lot of times what people will do is they will accidentally pick a different face when they come back in and fold things up. So we want to make sure to be consistent. So for our fixed face, I usually like to use one of the main faces of the part, and then the bends to unfold. I can pick multiple bends, but in this case, I'm just going to pick uh, the one. Now what we can do is come in and start a sketch on this face, and if we come in and uh, maybe draw a little rectangular box here, come in and throw some dimensions on here, to find this guy as well and come in and do an extruded cut in this case we can do a through all cut or another thing we can do is just a, a um, up to next would work pretty good as well say okay to that now what we can do is come in and use the sheet metal tools to fold this guy up now in this case notice it automatically picks that same face uh, for the bottom of the part to stay fixed and we can come in and pick the bends we want to fold back up or collect all the bends that have been unfolded to fold them back up. Now we've got a cut here. We could have done this a little bit differently. We could come in maybe on this face and start a sketch and here we're going to come in and draw a rectangle maybe snap it to that edge right there. We're going to leave it you know underdefined for now but we can come in and create a little bit different type of cut you know, how far do we cut this? May we come in and say up to vertex, up to say that point right there. It's going to give us a very similar uh, cut. But how are they different? In our first cut, the length and width, maybe that has to do with the size of a um, punch that we have. It's exact shape. Now in the formed version on the second cut, there's no easy way to come in and take a look at you know how long that punch needs to be to define that. We can definitely take a look at it in the in the flat pattern and measure it there. But there we've got two different size cutouts. So that's a couple little things with the the base flange and the fold and unfold. Just be careful with uh, where we dimension to and which faces we keep as our fixed face when we unfold and fold again. So this was Tony Riggs with Go Engineer, and I hope you found this video helpful.